Good morning. Spring's in full effect and the birds are singing. I got little honeybees flying around me out here. The, the winter coats are coming off the cattle. All the, the fun stuff's happening. My clover is in bloom. There's a butterfly over there off camera. And it is just absolutely beautiful out here. We've got some packages of honeybees coming in in the next week or so uh, from Mountain Sweet Honey. Might drive down there and get them. We've had uh, uh, some people say that the post office has killed their bees and uh, they're supposed to have it figured out. But so we, we might still just drive down to Georgia and get them uh, bees so that they're not in transit for too long. But we've got our, our hives painted all except for one. We got one more to either buy or build. Hadn't decided what we're gonna do yet. Uh, we've got a bunch of frames, but I've still got to put them together. Now this is what we're trying to make. This is a, a high frame and what will go in here is one of two things. Either foundation cell, which is just regular honey, or uh, you see where my mind's at, which is regular wax, not honey. They'll put the, the, the honey on the wax and then they'll cap it. But we're a couple steps away from that. So there's supposed to be foundation on here. We're gonna try something new this year. We've got some stuff called right cell. And what it is, it is a plastic. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, plastic, I want all natural. Well, that's what I've done for years is just use wax foundation. But apparently this is the bee's knees, pun intended. This is a piece of plastic and it's got a little bit of wax uh, put on there. Right cell is basically the same thing as uh, wax foundation, except it's plastic. It's more durable, it lasts longer. The idea of putting foundation in is giving the bees something to work with. It jump starts them. Now you might see some people that will take a piece of wire and run through the holes that are on some of these. These are plugged up right there, but there's holes on these uh, high frames and they'll run wire and let the bees do it it's much quicker to put you some foundation in there. So we're still a couple steps away from that. Right now we're building it. We have just these raw pieces. We've got the top, the bottom, and for each one of these, we'll have two sides, obviously. Other things we've got, we got us a cat paw right here, just for general use. We've got some one inch, 18 gauge nails and I don't know if these are the best ones or not. I'm gonna try these. I've got some other sizes down there. And we've got us some, some wood glue. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take and glue our corners in and then run us some nails. There's several different ways to do this. The way that we're gonna do it is the nails. It looks like these people have used some, uh, some staples. I don't know where this frame came from, might be uh, uh, maybe Man Lake or something, or might have been probably Man Lake. But it looks like they just used a little staple gun and put some steeples in there. Now, that might be the best way to do it. The nails might be the best, but the other way that uh, my brain has ran to is a Brad gun. And I might try that here in a little while. And uh, let's just see how it goes. can't mess this part up because they're the same. You can mess this part up. You see this ridge is down through here? That's what your foundation will set in. So we're gonna put these pieces on. Then we're gonna put some more glue up here on these top parts. I'm not putting big old gobs of glue on there and it's still running out the sides. So don't think that you gotta put a big bunch. Probably put too much on that in our tear. So now I'm gonna take my bottom piece and this is the same as the other one. See that ridge it runs down the middle? 
Don't put it like this. Make sure and put it in so that your foundation can sit in it. Probably would be smart to have you a square or something to check this. But that one's, I'm eyeballing that. That's pretty close. And I'm actually, I'm not even going to mess with, with uh, nailing it right now. I'm just going to set it down and let it dry. I'm going to keep on working on my other ones. Whenever we get done, we'll come back through and we'll nail them in. We got us a big old stack glued together here. We're going to let them dry. I'm going to come back later, probably in the morning, and put nails and brads in them. All of our, our five, all of our high frames are glued together. We're gonna wait to nail them. The girls and I, Sleepyhead here and Ellie, uh, just left and we, we came to our cell barn to watch the cow sell. My wife just called me and said, So I am very, very excited because if you look up, you can see bees everywhere. I think that they are swarming to our boxes. They are everywhere. We have a swarm of bees moving into an empty hive at the house. So I'm very excited about that. The footage you saw was from yesterday and we're fixing to go over here and check on these bees. I can already see them, y'all can't. Check this out. Look at that. Man, ain't that beautiful? I'm so excited. So we, we haven't even set any swarm traps out yet and the swarm came to us. That will put us at 10 packages, assuming we get all the ones that we bought this year here safely. So we better get back to building our high frames. I got all these done yesterday. They're all glued together and we got some deeps over here. See these? And so now we're just gonna take our, our nails and the brad gun and we're gonna see what works best. Just as is, these are pretty sturdy with just the glue, but we're gonna go ahead and put the nails in them because we don't want to chance them falling apart later, maybe sitting out in the sun or getting brittle or something. So, we got a nail here, and I'm just going to I'm gonna run it straight through. Now, something that's a little bit different about these is there's a, a, a gap in there. I was calling it a ridge earlier. I guess that's not really a ridge. It'd be more like a ravine. But look at this other frame. Whoever machined this one, see they did it to where it, it it's not a dovetail, but it's notch. You know, it fits in there perfect as to where this one, they just cut the center out. See, so there's still that, that gap right there. And I don't know if it'll split. It might not but we're gonna put it straight through like this on the first one. So let's see what happens. Might just bust it. Okay, it went straight in like it was nothing. So there's that. Now on this side, I'm gonna try it straight up and down and it might bust it right there, but we're gonna check it. You would think that this would be the better way to do it because it'll go up almost. Can you see that? Yeah, you sure can't see if I drop it, can you? This nail will almost go all the way across right there. You see that? It lacks maybe a quarter of an inch. Well, guess what? I've got inch and a quarter nails too. So if this is the best way to do it, we'll just use those nails. Yeah, I think I like that better. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Or either one, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Now on the top, this is pretty straightforward because this is solid and this is, uh, this is solid just because of the way that sits. You know, there's a little bit of a depression, but we're just gonna put this, these on the top straight through. So other than that, we're just gonna boot scoot ahead. All right, I think, <laughs> I think that the nails are out. O-U-T, look at this. I 
I need to turn my pressure up just a little bit. They're sticking out just a tad, but we're done with the nails. We're just gonna go through and put them in like this. I don't, I don't, unless there's a reason to take these frames apart at some time, I don't know why you wouldn't use a Brad gun. I got one other way that I thought of that we're just gonna check out, but I think the Brad gun beats all at this point. I got this staple gun, so let's try one with it. Oh, I always do it by this. there we go. Nope, don't use a staple gun. Maybe, maybe there's a different kind, but these are these. These are these. Yeah, of course they are. These are the little, can you see that? Just a, a regular staple. Now, maybe if you had some that was deeper. Well, it's got this other kind on here too. Maybe if you use them, but I think this is obsolete whenever you've got a Brad gun. Watch this. Let's do it again. Well, uh, you can even do it. No, you can't because it'd be too long. Don't do it sideways. It'll go through. Oh, out of Brad's. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and set it. If you look right there, that is, well, that one's not. Okay. Oh, there's not. That's the only brad that came through. You need to set to set and make sure that your brad gun's at the right PSI so that you don't shoot it through. I have shot myself in the neck with the brad gun because the pressure was turned up too high. It's not a fun emergency room visit, so don't try it. The only thing that, that might go wrong with this is if you get a little bit crooked, it might come out the side, so you need to watch for that. See, it came out the side. If you're, for some reason, holding it like that, and then you, you, it's gonna go through your hand. I mean, that's not really natural. You're probably gonna hold it like this anyways, but just know that that can happen. And I don't think it's going to affect the foundation that we slide in there. How cool is that to catch that swarm? Hope you liked the video. I think the brads are the best way to do the high frames. Leave us a comment, tell us what you think. Don't forget to subscribe.